Learn Math page for Section 8.5. It's on trapezoids. It tells you a lot about trapezoids right here in case you aren't aware. You can always reference this to help you. Number one, part A. The blank of a trapezoid is the segment that joins the midpoints of the legs. That's our mid-segment. Part B. A blank trapezoid has congruent legs. It's an isosceles trapezoid. Part C. A trapezoid has exactly one pair of blank sides. Parallel sides. Parallel sides of a trapezoid are called the bases. The blank sides of a trapezoid are called the legs. These are the non-parallel sides. Number two, you're given a trapezoid, D, E, F, G, with a median mid-segment, segment A, B, that is parallel to segment D, E. Then they give you some other lengths. Let's draw this trapezoid. So I'm just going to draw a figure that looks like a trapezoid, and then I'm going to label it. And I'm going to make sure that I went around the shape, not across it. So the mid-segment is segment AB. So I need to make sure that these points A and B are midpoints. That way I have a nice mid-segment there. Uh, huh. Yeah, well, I did that, just putting my letters where they should be, and notice what happens. The mid-segment AB should be parallel to segment DE, and it's not. It touches it. So I messed this guy up. So I'm going to come over here and do the same thing again. I just need to put my letters in a different place. Okay. So I need to make sure my D and my E end up being a base. So if a mid-segment is parallel to a side, and that side is a base. I should have known that to start with. But it's okay. Sometimes you make mistakes. You just adjust. Make sure these are midpoints. From D to E is 5, they're telling us. E to F is 8. So we know those two pieces are 4. F to G is 7. D to G is 9. So each of these would be 4.5. Make, make and label a sketch of the trapezoid. Find the distance from A to B. Explain your method for finding the distance from A to B. Well, A to B is just going to be 6. Remember, it's just an average of the two base lengths, 5 and 7. Number three, find the three missing measures in the trapezoid. Explain your method for finding the measures. Well, they're telling you this is a trapezoid. So these are the parallel sides. These sides are congruent. Those are the legs. So this is an isosceles trapezoid. If this trapezoid wasn't found to be isosceles, you wouldn't be able to do this. Base angles of an isosceles trapezoid are the same. So these are 45, and these ones here are going to be 135. These add up to 180. 